Hello again, it's Thumper the Rabid Rabbit in this episode of my Rust Electricity 101 Component Guide. We're going to cover the splitter. The splitter is a fairly basic piece of equipment that you will use. It's not a default blueprint on most servers, and typically it costs around 10 high quality metal to craft. You can find it in crates and sunken chests, and it has one function, splitting power. When you take power and put it into the top, which is where the input is, you may then split power out of any of the three power outputs along the bottom labeled power out one, two, and three. This fairly large component splits power evenly among the outputs that are in use. For example, if I use only one output, all of the power will go through that output. If I use two outputs, the power will be split evenly between the two outputs that are in use. However, if you use all three outputs, the power that you're putting in is then split evenly three ways among all three of the outputs. The splitter itself consumes one unit of power. Most of the components in Rust consume one unit of power themselves, so be sure you budget for the power that the splitter consumes, as well as the different outputs that it'll provide based on the number of outputs that you have in use at any one time. Again, it's a basic but large component, typically costing 10 high qual metal, has a single input and three outputs, and it will divide your input power evenly among the number of outputs that are in use at any one time. Ladies and gentlemen, the splitter. <laughs> 